Hey guys, today is Sunday, December 24th, 2017, number 4, by floor opposite. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Cubbin, and well, hmm, the show usually talks about topics that you guys pick out, but I guess there's something that's Christmas Eve, I talk about something. So, let's talk about what, talk about what Christmas means to me. Okay. So Christmas Eve, when I was a kid, it used to mean everything. The tree, the trains, the, ki the presents, all that cool stuff that kids love every year. I mean, hell, I had a c ornament with a train going around it. That was awesome. I mean, just putting up the ornaments was really, really cool. I mean, my cat Jasmine, she, uh, she used to hide under the tree, so <laughs> we never knew where she was. And then we'd go down and look under the tree, and there she'd be. So, you know what? Just... Kids look forward to saying, presents, 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 presents. But think about it. Why is Christmas about presents? Is there any other thing? I mean, little kids, they say, presents, 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 presents. Mom, I need a new Fitbit. Mom, I need a new video game. Mom, I need a new PS4. I need everything, everything. I need the Nintendo Switch. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. Ridiculous. I mean, really, kids are just obsessed with this stuff. It's like, what? So, kids go and, hope, and expect to see them under the tree. Let's face it. You know, kids. What's inside? What's inside? I can't tell. Oh, well. Uh, so, I used to love Christmas. I mean, I just wake up and, you know, say, Oh, look what Santa Claus brought me. That was cool. Um, and then, of course, the tree. We always got a big tree, which we put in the basement right near my room. So, if I had wanted to... I would look at and see if my parents were Santa Claus, but I was too not bright enough and too believing to say that, oh, that's not Santa Claus, that's my parents. <laughs> but let's face it, some of you would rather have heard that it was real if you cause didn't see him, so how is it any worse? You see and you don't believe him. I, mean, I talked about Santa the past week, so it was, um, yeah, but, um, the tree. These days, the tree doesn't have to be tall with ornaments. You get fiber optic. And what about the angels? You can get, like, uh, plastic angels uh, to put on your trees. And knock a tree as small as you over, but still, you know, it's cool. Now, today, totally different meaning. I mean, most of my regular viewers will know my aunt passed away a few months back. So, that left empty heart, empty seat on the table, empty spot in my heart. So, you know, maybe, you know, just thinking, maybe Christmas isn't wonderful. Now, do I say I hate Christmas? No. Christmas is a pretty good holiday, but, you know, without my aunt, it just breaks my heart, really. I mean, just, she was always there, and now she's just gone. It's not going to be easy for me to remember. <sighs> but, yeah, so this year, presents. I like to give presents to other people and get presents for myself. I mean, I just... I'm at that age, I love everyone. I just want you all to be happy, not me. And that's disappointment. I'm not supposed to be happy. I'm not supposed to be happy. I'm bipolar. I'm not supposed to be happy. You guys who are bipolar are the ones who should be happy about this. Me? Well, when you watch the Charlie Brown at Christmas thing, it's like, Charlie Brown? You're the Charlie Browniest person I've ever met, or something like that. Well, you know, guess what? Yeah, the Timothy Cousin is Timothy Cousin you ever meet. I don't know. We'll just have to see. I hope you all have a good present Christmas. I might be back tomorrow. I'm not sure. But anyway, bye guys. Tim Cousin, out.